get in and sit down and Okie dokie, artichoke. Alright, we ready? Yeah. I'm going to lead it off. Hey, I am here with... Hi, I'm Fallon. I'm Sophie. And you guys are from... We're from Haunted Attraction. Mm -hmm. And where can people find you? Uh, we're going to be on the Schlock and All channel, well, that's actually. True, yeah, yeah uh, right here on YouTube. There you go. So uh, today, I am at uh, the Haunted Attractions HQ, and uh, it's Christmas. So I figured we would make some, well, you figured we would make some cookies. We're feeling festive with our favorite angry elf. Wow, ouch. And you gave me eggnog. I've never had eggnog before. That's weird, right? It, it is weird, Just so maybe we weird. should start that way. Okay, ready? All right, happy Wait, holidays. Geez. You didn't even cheers us, the Ooh, sky. Sorry. All right. All right. Here we go. It's uh, gingerbread -y. Some good nog. I added moonshine. <laughs> That's what I figured. I tasted it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm feeling festive. Uh, you're very festive. I hate Christmas. I am just a genuine. Dude, it sucks to suck. It's it does. I can't help it. I'm a I'm a humbugger. <laughs> so um, while we're while we uh, are gonna make cookies, um, we were also gonna discuss probably the best Christmas horror movie ever, uh, Black Christmas. But there are a few Black Christmas, yes. correct? Yes, and I didn't specify which one you guys no, should watch. No, you did not. So this is going to be fun. But it's fine because to celebrate, depending mm -hmm. on which version you watch, uh, we're going to make ginger dead cookies. That's right. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is great. Which version is that from, dude? Uh, well, Ginger Dead Man is a uh, Charles Band movie uh, with... My friend dies in the sequel. Oh, really? Actually, yeah. Passion of the Crust? <laughs> Passion of That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the, the third one is Saturday Night Cleaver. I know. Yeah, Gary Busey was in the first one. I don't think he's welcome back at Monster Ma Mania. <laughs> well, you know, he licked my face once. Okay. So that was a time when we So, had it. which version did you watch? The 2006 one. Okay. She's all 2006. Mm -hmm. Which is why the cookies were inspired. Yeah. He cookies out of his mom's back. I mean, what kind of love is that? I, uh, That's the real magic. Of nothing says love like mom in the oven. <laughs> It's true. I got dumped at the 2006 Black Christmas. Well, I'm sorry to bring it yeah. up. Oh, that's my favorite one. I'll drink to yeah, that. Yeah, I think we need to drink right. to that. For, for mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, so have you ever seen the original, though? I've saw part of it. Like, I haven't seen the whole entire one. So let me let me do what I do. Give, give the synopsis. Give the, well, not just the synopsis. We're going to give a little, little inside baseball. Directed by Bob Clark. Bob Clark has two Christmas movies on the polar opposite sides of the spectrum. Christmas Story and Black Christmas. Same they, guy. Same guy. Amazing. He it also did uh, Baby Geniuses 1 and 2. He did Porky's. <laughs> you ever seen Porky's before? Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and he made this really fucking cool movie uh, called Death Dream, which was like a Vietnam parable by way of the Monkey's Paw story. Really cool. Nice. Uh, but Black Christmas came out in 1974. Olivia Husse from uh, Fellini's um, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, you know, it was the first boobs I ever saw in school. In school? Yeah, because they showed... things for you. A lot of miles. I know. Wow. Well, you never saw the... You never this saw... is why he hates the holidays? I know, yeah. Boobs? No, I hate the holidays because my I, I got my cancer diagnosis on Christmas Eve. I got dumped on Christmas Eve. I just, I hate the holidays. I'm going to do something really terrible to you on Christmas oh, no. Eve. I got to keep it consistent for you. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Olivia Jose, yeah, she was in the Fellini version of, uh, of Romeo and Juliet. They showed us in school, and she was topless in it in the scene, but she was underage at the time, which is weird, you know? Uh, she also was the voice of Talia al Ghul in uh, the Batman the Animated Series. Um, she's in a cool movie from uh, Australia called Turkey Shoot. Uh, and then it's also got Margot Kidder in it, who was, um, you know, Lois Lane. Right. And she's in uh, the Amityville Horror uh, I love her in this movie because she's drunk and inappropriate the entire time. And she tells that the cops, when they're doing the procedural shit, are like, well, what's the area code and all that? And she spells out fellatio and says it's a <laughs> new providence because the movie's shot in Canada. Um, yeah, the, the difference between this one and the 2006 one is there is no rhyme or reason for Billy. Yeah. He just starts calling uh, on the, the girls are there on Christmas Eve, starts making phone calls, like, I'm going to lick your pretty pink pussy and stuff like that, which Jeez, I know. I get calls from you all the time like that, well, and I'm like, what? We don't talk about that. I know, here. and I'm like, it's more of a, 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 a pink. I don't know about that. It's more of a teal. 
like you should get that checked out. I should, yeah. <laughs> you ever watch The Office where he's like, oh, how would I know what your urine looks like? He's like, oh, it's blue. He's like, I got it taken care of. Like, <laughs> so yeah, there's the girls are in the sorority. Uh, the one girl right from the beginning gets attacked, plastic bag over her head, and then she, she's just up in the attic the entire movie. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the, the movie came out right after Roe vs. Wade was passed. So they, uh, Olivia Hussey's character is... It's important because this is like what, the first time that abortion was... I, I, yeah, the most right? inspired, I think so, yeah. And um, I like that she has... Kier DeLay is her boyfriend, and Akir DeLay from 2001 A Space Odyssey is her boyfriend. And he's like 30-something years old, but he's supposed to be playing a college student. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, but... Hey. Oh, yeah, you know? <laughs> But, uh, it's movie magic. Uh, yeah, movie Speaking magic. Of movie magic. Okay. I'm gonna put these cookies All right, go ahead, in the put oven. the cookies in. Okay. All right, and we'll keep talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. To get into this. Oh, they're done. Oh my they're god. Done. Oh my Scary. god. Look, Look at you. this. Perfect. Look how amazing. I made wow. them all you're myself. A, you're a domestic goddess. I love this. Mm -hmm. I'm good in the kitchen. I'm not saying a word. Um, so, uh, yeah, so <laughs> this movie is, I, I would consider a feminist horror movie, uh, because all the females have, uh, you know, wherewithal and, and over themselves. And she basically says, Olivia Jose is like, look, I'm in college. I don't want this fucking up my life. I'm, I'm not keeping this kid. So you're led to believe that this dude, uh, Kier Delay's character is the killer. And there's a fucked up ending, spoiler alert, oh, no. where, uh, you know, uh, the, basically he comes in and his cadence is almost like Billy on the phone. So when the cops finally break in, John Saxon from uh, Nancy's dad from Nightmare on Elm Street and Enter the Dragon, shit like that. She's there, Kier Delay's dead, and you think that she killed him, but then it turns out that Billy was just in the basement with all the dead bodies the entire time because they're his family and um you all the spend holidays with your family, with your family. So not no sense. mine's gonna be in disney world they didn't even close. bother That's fine. so yeah so uh <laughs> it turns out that all the phone calls that we're getting in the original one of from about agnes and all are actually shown in the version that you saw yeah. so go ahead and explain your version well he my favorite thing is that he sucks the candy cane into a shiv and shivs a guard to get out of a mental asylum <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part mm -hmm. and then he ends up back at the house because that sorority house was his house growing yeah. up. Yeah. Which, where everything it, it's happened. not discussed in the first one. No, so they it's don't not. Tie so together. it's a little bit different, but kind of the same ballpark. And he does the same thing. He kills the girl in the attic with a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. bag. <laughs> um, somebody gets an icicle through the eye. That mm -hmm. was, like, one of my favorite parts, too. It was he, Michelle Trachtenberg, wasn't yep. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then kills another girl in her sleep. And then... The first part, before he even gets out of the asylum, was making the cookies out of his mom's bag. Yeah. Because he had enough of her abuse. Yeah, and the, see, in the original one, they don't really, they don't show you any of that. Yeah. He just, he's he's working these things out over the phone to them. And this movie's like, you ever babysit? No, I hate kids. Well, yeah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> but it comes from, like, the, you know, the old, like, the killer... They, they trace the call and the call's coming from upstairs, you right. know. Uh, Carol Kane in um, When a Stranger Calls. The, have you checked the children he keeps calling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This uh, this movie kind of has that because you have the procedural stuff where the cops go and they have to, like, figure out where the call is coming from and it turns out that Billy's in the attic and you just see his eye most of the time and then Margot Kidder gets stabbed to death with a crystal uh, unicorn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> This one went more the Rob Zombie Halloween vibe to yeah, it. That's yeah, that's kind of like it's kind of like the boy how he's like in the walls and he knows mm -hmm. the whole entire house, so they can't really get away from. Yeah, him. like Bad Ronald. You ever see Bad Ronald? Yeah. Or uh, the boy. Yeah. The Two. Boy. They did the same mm -hmm. thing with the boy. Yeah. Yep. Saying. Really mm hmm. Anything to add? I'm ready to decorate. Okay, cookies. start decorating cookies. That's Jesus. It. I want a ginger dead cookie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it first though. Okay. So d this is some of the stuff that you had. Go ahead, let's start yeah, explaining. I have, I have blood drip, but it's a, it's a glaze. It's edible, edible blood glaze. Yeah. Out of edible we, blood glaze. Sophie and I have had some moments where we did things for the beauty of There's viewers. just some things you shouldn't put in your mouth, and we learned that before. Oh, we right? learned I've been what told. Not to put in <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why'd you invite me over then? Well, um, well you know. We just are going for punishment. So. <laughs> Is the season. That's no, right. so we did this little podcast thing and <laughs> we there's like a quick trick to like stain your mouth where you add like some food coloring and you do like mouthwash or whatever, you spit it out. It's like, you know, old school effect stuff. And 
I don't know, I was trying to go a little too hard, and we didn't have the quite, the quite right um, mouthwash. Read your labels, kids. Um, listen, it was like a peroxide <laughs> mouthwash. It was like 90% peroxide, and like somebody it's like, like a prescription mouthwash. mouthwash I don't even there. know where it came from, but we were just sad. in a pinch, and we needed something, and I was like, I got this, I got this. We're going to have like a big finish, because it was like in between, this like live podcast. So I came back, and I was like, all right, we're good. So I like threw it back in my mouth, and Sophie did it too, and we're like just sitting there, and then... Um, it all went wrong. <sighs> I just, at the end, was like, oh, dramatic finish. Well, we both got so sick from it because I ended up swallowing, like, half this cup, and then it was bad. So, we, this is edible, okay? Does like, this is... Peroxide. No, yeah. Because that I, was just not fun. <laughs> it was a time, and we had it. Mm-hmm. It made for good And finish, is it online? It sucked, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it's on there somewhere. There. We'll it's, add the link somewhere. Oh, so, we've got God. blood glaze. We've got... We have sparkle gel black sparkle gel black um we have these cute little sprinkles that look there's little knives or depending on where you live in america jimmy's where people call them jimmy's yeah, but how many people really call them, them jimmy's? jimmy's i've heard people Worry call about them your that own jimmy new i can't okay. stop thinking about it i got what else we have little a bat sprinkle mix and we have these other little tombstones and bones mm-hmm. and then we have some standard matte finish black and then we have some white, so which fancy. I don't want to hand to Newt because I'm afraid where that's going to end. That's how I got pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> you got to start somewhere. Exactly. All right. All right. So go ahead. Let's, uh, you guys each grab a thing in a jigger. I'm just going to do it right on here. Okay, ear. go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to take care of his severed leg. Oh, all right. Yeah. See? <laughs> Look at him. And they were, yes. they were ninja gingerbread cookies originally. Okay. Yeah. They well, through Look, the magic you're, you're, of TV, yes, they transformed from karate yes. to being and they they even turned into actual gingerbread rather than sugar cookie dough in my magic oven as well. Fucking magical, man! Right? Straight up magical. They've yes. given up the life of mm-hmm. for more peaceful. Well, activities. I was pointing out to you that on the box they've all got white belts, so they have no fucking play place no, telling anyone to do. No, they had no business in it in the first yeah. place, yeah. so it was just better. They off. Had white belts? Yeah. Yeah. Well. I have black icing, so... Well, yeah, give them black well, belts, because... Black. Jeez, the matte look. Oh, look how cute. Oh, look how sad he is. I know, that's the point. Mm-hmm. He's missing a leg. Give him some ominous eyebrows. You gotta just keep keep shaking it, dude. Mm-hmm. You, you're not doing it hard enough. Put some aggression behind it. You gotta rub it <laughs> Look, <laughs> Did you not cut that one? I don't open? think I cut the open the ending of it. Listen, now we're finding out that you're not good with just a tip. You gave it no, not at all. <laughs> I gotta give him the whole thing. Oh my god, I'll be back. Mm-hmm. Alright, carry on. We're folks. gonna carry on. You gave me like baby left handed scissors. You have well, to make do you're the size of a child. It. I am the size of a child so and I have I the mind of a child scissors. too. Um So did you see the two thousand six one in theater or did you see it afterwards? Um, I saw it at a sleepover when I wasn't allowed to watch scary movies. Like, my oh. mom, my mom hated scary movies. She hated the fact that I liked it. Like, not that she hated the fact that I liked it. She she's wanted to shield right me. So she's waiting for me to come back with the towel. So we watched <laughs> it at, like, <laughs> 1 o'clock in the morning, and then her brother came busting in the room with a giant wig on and a machete, scared the crap what? out of us. Where the fuck did you, like, what kind of... <laughs> it was, listen, These are how our friends are, okay? Yeah. It was bad. It was really bad. Did anyone see the 2019 Black Christmas? I have not yet. Okay. No, neither did I. So the 2019, and look, I'm all fine for safe spaces and wokeness. Uh, the 2019 one has uh, Carrie Ells in it from uh, Wesley from The Princess Bride. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's basically about uh, oh, frat good. dudes who... Um, oh. oh, that didn't... No, not at all. I was like, "What are we going for here?" here. I don't, yeah, he did a lot of mushrooms. It looks like it looks like what's that? What's that DJ with the head? It's like a big a marshmallow, marshmallow oh, head. Marshmallow. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So the, there's a black goo that comes out of a statue, and it possesses dudes to be like terrible to women in college, and that was the movie. And there was no gore in it, and it was just like really uh, embarrassing because I was just like, "Come on, man! If you're gonna call like call it safe space or something like that." And don't 
fucking call it Black Christmas. How do you if you not have gore? Why is there no gore? I don't know. What's up with that? Uh, because it was PG-13, I think. You can uh, still have some level of gore Like a little bit of split splat, they something. There. Yeah. yeah. Split, 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 but I don't think they, I think they were just making it, I think they were making it to be like a meme movie, like, you know, take that white dudes and I was like I get it I'm fucking terrible by by proxy I'm terrible you know even um, if you weren't you'd be terrible well yeah that's true and then um <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on anymore I don't know I'm trying uh, to fix my this my thing. cookie is someone poisoned the water yeah my cookie's waiting for the dude to come back from the bathroom with the uh with the towel to clean up uh, what did you make yours? I don't know. He's looking like he's got leader hose on. I thought he was like upside down. <laughs> he was upside. Yeah. Oh, he's not those upside are, down. No, those are his eyebrows. He's oh, okay. I thought you were going for like, uh, like that's his hat. I mean, that could be fancy too. It's the beginning of Saving Private Ryan. I like that he has. <laughs> I like mine to have mm -hmm. little weird leader hose. I did like you? my men maimed. Yeah. I don't want to give them Tell options. me about it. Um, yeah, you, it's like you. Uh, Only if they put you in the well, though. Oh, yeah. oh, true. Yeah. Do you like, you do like a, uh, like a, uh, what are they, it's like veal to them? Like they're chained up and they're not all the moves, so they can't. <laughs> Giant sledgehammer. Oh, okay. Like in yep. uh, Misery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the 2019 one, I don't recommend anyone watch. I saw it in the theater because I'm a fucking idiot and I like to abuse myself. But um, the 20, the 2006 one is fun. It's, uh, it's definitely got some fun gore in it. Um, <laughs> so confused as to what's going on here. Doesn't take much. No, not at no. all. I'm gonna eat mine. This makes me happy. I need the blood though. The blood. Blood yeah, blaze. Blood mm -hmm. Um. Is my cookie good, Newt? Your cookie is delicious. You're welcome. Not the first time I've had it, but you. <laughs> well, it's probably a little stale then. That's true. Yeah. Well, you did try to get me murdered uh, before coming here, so you know. Look. I like to have a little fun. Okay, so he asked for an address and... Because we've always filmed, Fallon has been in a bunch of my stuff in the past. Yeah. We've always filmed at a location or at the studio. Yeah, so I gave him an address. I was trying to find different like abandoned asylums that were reasonably close to where he was, so it wasn't too out of the realm, but I just, I, I finally randomly picked like Norristown State mm -hmm. Hospital. And I was like, here you go. And I didn't think to, I, I, you said, how far away are you? And I was like, oh, 20 minutes. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, son of a bitch. So I would have gone there and then gotten molested by, uh, by homeless junkies. And I said, that's great because at least you'll finally get some action. That's right. I look out for my friends. You do, too. you do. I mean, Season of giving. Is it giving. if they yell surprise at you? No, it's and not. Never. Yeah. Remember, you said that so I can't get canceled. <laughs> I'm going to put a disclaimer right here. That anything we yell surprise. I, mm hmm Yep. Confetti has to be involved. Well, it depends on that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what about sprinkles? Sprinkles for sprinkles. Jimmy surprises. Or Jimmy's, yes. See, well, it's like you know, and like people call it pop. <laughs> people say pop, yeah. or people say like soda, or whatever, or hoagies, grinders, subs. I want other snacks, so I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Well, eat your eat your cookie. All right. So. So. In summary. In we summary. Think what that. Number two is is the no the movie 19, we 19, like the 1974 is the proto slasher film. It is the movie that uh, directly inspired um, John Carpenter's Halloween. Well, there's like homage to that yes. on a couple levels. Yep. Yeah. Right? The, like the, reflections. The POV POVs reflections. Uh, even on the poster to Halloween, you see the uh, the hand that's holding the knife is really the the girl's face from uh, Black Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Yours just stares into the void now, you know? <laughs> um, but it's the same thing where people, oh my God. It's being sacrificed. Oh, wait a minute. People say like, yeah, uh, Stab people say Psycho <laughs> was the first in the slasher genre. But really, if you look at it before that, you had uh, Blood Feast and um, the fucking brilliant and under <laughs> underlooked, is that, that one doesn't have anything on it. Uh, Peeping Stab Tom, if you've never saw Peeping Tom before, check that one out. Uh, but yeah, so it's like uh, Blair Witch Project in the last broadcast. I'm the Do only you know one still going. they're making a new Blair Witch? Did you see that? They just made one a couple years ago. Uh, there's apparently another one coming out. There's a thing. I saw it. Unless really? I'm wrong, and I read something wrong today, but I was kind of surprised. Because I haven't seen the first one in probably 20 years. But when I was running the theater, it came out, and they had we had to give people Dramamine. Oh. Because they were getting, like, motion sickness from it. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
Uh, did you ever see the second one, Book of Shadows? No, I it never was watched fucking it. Fucking terrible. I refused on principle. Uh, it was made by the dude. You ever? Uh, what the hell was that documentary on HBO about those guys who killed those kids? Paradise Lost. Mm-hmm. Oh. It was the same director. Yeah. Um, so we made a mess. A total mess. He needs a towel, but he also needs some blood. Because, okay. Well, he, I, he put his head off. Yeah. He got like, stabbed in the in, junk. In the junk. And junk stabbing. And sploosh. <laughs> and sploosh. And, and stab, yeah. Sploosh stab and stab. And sploosh, hey, man, That's going to be our, our, yeah, yeah. our sequel. Sploosh and stab, yeah. yeah. Um, so, okay, all right, forget Black Christmas then. What are some other Christmas horror movies that you watch? Oh, my gosh. Dude, why do you throw us under the bus? I like know. This? That's so sad. Because I'm, 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 I'm an idiot. Savant. There are so many die things, hard. though. That <laughs> die Hard, die yeah. Hard. I said that yesterday. I was like, is, die hard, is Batman Returns a Die Hard movie? It's not like. <laughs> So, okay, there were all those Ginger Dead movies. Yeah. Which is, yeah. There's like three. Mm-hmm. Um, God. Krampus. Krampus, yeah. Krampus is a good one. And then. Gremlins. Gremlins doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like on the It's holiday classic, but is, yeah. it, is it horror? Mm hmm. You think so? It's a normal people. Yeah. Normal. I think it's a like comedy. It is, but it has horror elements to it. So does Krampus. Krampus is a yeah. horror movie comedy. Um,. Silent Night, Deadly Night, you know, with the killer Santa, Billy. Uh, I, Depending on when this goes up, I already put my review up for that. Um, the Tales what about, the, are we going to go see the new mean one that has our friend David? We need to. We should do that. That would be so fun. Did that come out? Yeah, it did. Oh. It's, it's running now. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Then we and should. it's doing really well. We should go. And your friend is in it? Yeah, our friend David, who plays Art the Clown, is the... The Grinchy Man. What? He's yeah. the mean one. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, they actually shot it, it in like a pretty really short good. period of time. And mm-hmm. It was like a low budget, but it's like, it's killing it. It's kind of cool that they've got an evil, they got a killer Grinch, you got a killer Winnie the Pooh. They're like doing all this stuff now, <laughs> yeah. like the, you know, try to think like what other like kid friendly shit you can make into a horror movie. Because I said I wanted to make the little murder maid, you know. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I want to see a rotten veggie. Like vegetables that gone, it's gone wrong. You know? Like oh, the vegetables wait, start killing people. Or if it's the Book of Revelations, because it's you know, yeah. Armageddon's oh, almost yeah. here. <laughs> Armageddon's <laughs> almost here. Armageddon out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never seen Veggie Tales before, but I remember my ex girlfriend used to the same one who dumped me for two thousand six. I just keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what, dude? I'm just gonna. I yeah. drink I'm sorry, I but uh, yeah. So she, uh, her, the kid that she used to babysit loved Veggie Tales. And I was just like, what the, like, I used to watch fucking Transformers and shit, and you kids are learning about, like, Fruit Jesus. Yeah. Wait, does that mean that, like, wait, so they crucified, like, a carrot? Yeah. Oh, my (laughs) God. So (laughs) in that world, in that world, there's bigotry for, like, homosexual, Mm -hmm. like, pears? It's messed up. It's pretty messed up. Larry, that was like Larry the cucumber was pretty innocent and things. So I feel like he was just trying to live his the life. The cucumber's never. I hate the real either. world no, the implications. Tomato was mean. The tomato was not a nice dude. He no, was, but it's like because eventually there is going to be a book of revelations where like the seas boil and the skies turn red for fucking veggie tales, you know? And it all turns into like vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna soup. like your cookie. Like it. Because this looks I great. Tasted. Like your cookie. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm dripping. I have that effect on people. It's okay. Because there was, uh, in the 80s, there was a Pac-Man cartoon. I didn't think it was going to do that. Uh-huh. And they did, a, they did a Thanksgiving episode with Native American Pac-Mans. And I was like, wait, does that mean there's a Pac-Man Trail of Tears then? Because that's terrifying. Oh that's just like <laughs> things you don't want to think about at night. But I do because I have nothing better to do. And I, my cat doesn't talk to me anymore. I came here and hang out with you guys. So what do you guys do on your fucking show? Tell me about your show. Okay, so we're kind of all about the oohs and ahs. More like the ah, yeah, it's spooky. Like the so, we have a love for the horror genre and mm-hmm. spooky things and things that are a little different. And Sophie and I have worked together for years now on countless years, projects. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. We have like an affinity for the same things. So, the basis was that we started working together in a haunted attraction. And I think that like brought our friendship together and it, it gave us a basis for. You know exactly. what things were, where to progress, where to move on. I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying. Maybe <laughs> but where things were headed, 
so you know we started taking all of these adventures and everything comes back to the same point and it's us and, and something our adventures. stupid mm -hmm. and crazy always ends up happening like oh we, we can never just have a normal time like we just just can't it's no. just not a mm -hmm. thing so. so we'll you know discuss different projects we've worked on we're going to different places that are spooky have like kind of a weird vibe a weird history we're going to do um some haunted locations in philadelphia that actually stem from the uh the lady of the night mm -hmm. industry so that that will be exciting yeah we wrote this guy into that mm -hmm. one too but we have a lot of cool stuff coming up and we're gonna go to some of the haunted attractions that we've worked at um and we're gonna do some non-horror things just everything is spooky no. and like off the beaten track. Mm -hmm. like, Taxidermy, bright specimens. Because you guys worked on uh, Hayride to Hell. We did. We did. Uh, yeah. Because I went to the premiere. I was Fallon's uh, plus one to the premiere of that yes. uh, at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville. And that was with uh, Bill Mosley and, um, and Kane and Hodder. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty cool. I met you there. Yeah, I think I did. met you before, though. I think we, we met in passing. We didn't officially meet. You didn't so. remember me, yeah. though. No, I always remember. <laughs> very memorable. She very tries memorable. to block it out. Mm -hmm. That one's like, he's not important. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just keep walking. Mm -hmm. Just turn your head. Yeah. Like you don't know. Don't make eye contact. All right. Yeah. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> I, I did. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. I did. Run in. Run in. Run in. So, yeah, Run we'll, in. so we'll be putting some of your haunted attraction stuff on Schlock and All, too. And, and Fallon and I have been working on a bunch of projects over the last year. Um, now that you're so allowed many. to work with me again. <laughs> <laughs> People didn't like you. I don't. I don't know why people didn't like you who I used to work with. Intimidation is the maybe. Thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, eggnog with uh, with moonshine. It's like truth serum. Yeah. Um, no. Oh God, no. This fucking channel, <laughs> man. I say whatever. If it's like people are just like, I don't know if he's telling the truth or if he had a stroke. I've cried on here before talking stroke. about fucking. Do you want to cry again? Do you no. want to bring up your? I feel like you're not allowed to even Christmas? until you cry. Until I cry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have nothing to cry about. Uh, I've had a good week in <laughs> writing and shit, you know? And I got to, I watched 1974 Black Christmas, which I haven't seen in a really long time. And uh, and I got to hang out with you guys and oh. talk about the stuff that you're doing. Because you and I call, you know, you just call me constantly about random stuff. And then I, do I like, call too much? No, no, because I like how you always end it well, with like... at least some guy answers my call. That's it's true. Cool. Look at me. You think I have anything else to fucking do? <laughs> I'm usually cleaning my apartment when you call, you know? And then you're like, okay, I've talked to you enough. And then you hang up, and I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> well, there's a little bit of a tear. Is that, is that a sad moment? No, it's you? fine. No, That's it's fine. Really Everything's bad. fine. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, not calling you anymore. No, it's fine. No, no it won't. It's all good. All right, good. That's the end of this. That's a lie. I'm calling you. <laughs> <laughs> we have too much shit going on for we you not to keep I in know. contact. <laughs> I'll send you some other good location addresses. Yes, yep. Yeah, I just show That's up places, I, I get murdered, you know. I'm the only one with You're the fucking... You're not going to get murdered before I am the top of your life insurance policy, so... Good luck with that. That's what I'm saying. So clearly I'm if, not the one murdering yeah, you. Yeah, my cat, probably. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> so what do you guys have coming up next? What's, uh, what's the oh, new year God. hold? What's up? We have a ton of stuff coming up, so I'm slated to start on a project jar. Sophie's going to be working on that. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing our podcast. I have the cover of Outlaw Biker coming out uh, April 18th, I think. Yeah, it was in the middle of April. Yeah, I mean, we have like, there's a lot of new. Like, mm -hmm. I have to, I'm like an old person now that I have to go through Rolodex and like. I thought you laid out like your pills for the week. In those like seven day you things. You know what? That would actually be we a good get, idea. Like, just roll up notes like out of a fortune cookie and just put it in a little a pill idea. thing. It'd be fun. It's your advent calendar for your week. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. Um, put a treat in there. Everybody deserves a treat. I like when I came into your house and there's just a big banner of you hanging off the thing like a. Okay, that's not. It's that sounds very like egotistical, and I don't even care. Hey, hey, hey! Picture of myself. Listen. I been, it had you wrinkles. know you know me. I don't like wrinkles in my face or in my banner, and I need it for an upcoming event. Oh, that's that. Sophie and I are doing that too. In February, um, I'll be signing at uh, the the precursor event to uh, a dead a dead winner. Okay. Um, and that's all listed on all of my social media. Mm -hmm. stuff. But the um, the the headliner is vampires everywhere, um, but there's like this whole vampire ball, which is awesome. And but you guys should get your tickets before it's sold out. Cause it's I think it quick. might already be sold out. Probably is. But for the dinner portion, but I think the the rest of it is. I think I think there might be tickets for that left. Um, but then there's like a whole oddity show 
before that with like a bunch of vendors. And That's stuff. cool. So yeah, I have a Fiji. She and I will be there. I have a Fiji mermaid you gave me one time. A little taxidermy thing in the what's it? I gave you that. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I don't. I have no recollection. Wow. Narcissist. It meant something to you. Narcissist gonna narcissist. <laughs> Jeez. I really don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, one of the one of the Cherry Hill cons. Oh God, how many years have we been at Monster Mania? I've known you since. 2011. Yeah. It's a blur. It's I know. Because the first thing we worked on was uh, Brian O'Halloran from Clerks, Dante. Uh, I you, love Brian. You did effects, and I was a location manager at a, uh, at a dentist's office. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Time. Yep, I remember that. And then I asked you to come out, and you were in coin slots. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then uh, you shot some Florida Man stuff for me, and I sent you a whole bunch of scripts of other stuff we're working on, and, you know, and. And you know, just all the things. Yeah, I, all the I, things. We had fun on our little shark exorcist two blip. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's coming out. That's coming out in March. I forgot about that. Oh great! So my movie's or the coming spring. out in March. Yeah, I like how you're the top actor. Movie, you're though. the top actress in it, but you've only you're in like a minute and forty five seconds. Uh, I had shot uh, Donald oh, Farmer, what? Donald Farmer Shark Exorcist two sequel to Shark Exorcist one. Uh, uh, he Donald Farmer asked me to shoot the opening scene, and I shot it with my old crew. And they decided, well, we don't want to be associated with nude anymore. That's right, moving Yeah, on. whatever. So we shot, I wrote another scene for you where you're like almost like a Paris Hilton type who uh, has to do community service by doing a commercial about, about the town. The beach, yeah. yeah. And actually the first new video that Shell I... Shell yeah. Shell yeah. The first new video that I put up in the uh, this phase of Schlock at All was that one of you and I on the green screen last November. So it's been over a year. Holy cow. Wow. Yep. Man, time Can you believe flies. any of this, Sophie? No, it's un unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> 1974 Black Christmas, right? I like the 2000. We should watch the 2019 one and just be like, what the? Uh, I, can, I think, no, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it, yeah. Because I'm a, we'll be... take another thing of. Oh, we're going to need a lot terrible. more than that. I'm a, I'm a very left minded person, <laughs> but when I see stuff like that, it makes me go, these fucking liberals, man. <laughs> So, anything else you guys want to add? Where do we, where, you know? No, other than to have a happy, spooky, festive holiday, watch some scary films, make some... Make some make dead some cookies. Ginger dead mm -hmm. cookies. Do and make, make sure you tune party. in to, to Haunted Attractions, which will be up soon. Mm -hmm. Come have fun with us. Come hang out with us at some events and watch our shit. Right? I mean, is that fun. it? That's it. We're fine, I promise. No, they are. They're fun. Somebody has. Somebody to has to be. I'm the fucking stick in the mud. I'm in the middle. Like I'm the. I'm the. I'm You're the, the newt in the mud. I'm the newt in the. I'm a newt in a love sandwich right here. <laughs> uh, all right. Bye. I'm just gonna let it roll. <laughs>